Hello everybody! In the next two to maybe three minutes, you will become an expert in creating a parcel fabric and adding parcel types. Let's see how it's done. Easy. In your catalog pane, you can expand it, you get a default geodatabase. Right click, maybe create a new one. That will be used as your staging environment. Say so save, that creates you a new file geodatabase. Now we right click on that guy, say new feature data set. Create a feature data set, we need to give it a name. I'll call mine cadaster. You can call yours parcels. You can call it whatever you want, land records and so forth. What is important is to assign the correct spatial reference, the coordinate system. Most of you will use a projected coordinate system. I already have one in my favorites and it's a state plan coordinate system. It's a projected coordinate system and I'll just choose that one and press run. And now it creates a feature data set. Already done, so fast. Here it is, but it's empty. See, let's right click on this one and say, create a new parcel fabric. So let's call my parcel fabric, parcel fabric and press run again. What it does is create a new parcel fabric controller it also creates the other feature classes like the points, connection lines, records, the topology that will ensure the topological integrity of your data, as well as the adjustment uh, feature classes. Those are temporary feature classes used when you run least square adjustment to display results. And in a few seconds, it will be done. It also lays some domains for you in your workspace, in the geodatabase. So here it is. It's done and we can see the parcel fabric, the prettiest one here and everything that it created, but we are missing parcel types. So how do I add a parcel type? Well, select your parcel fabric this time, right click, go to the manage option and add parcel type. That just brings up the right geoprocessing geo tools, add parcel type. And now we can start adding parcels. Your parcels can be anything. They can be used for ownership, for taxation, for easements, encumbrances, public land survey system, even administrative boundaries. I'll just create one now. I'll just call my parcels and press run. If you have a very large parcels, you might want to use check this option, make them admissive boundaries and press run. What this does is create a polygon feature class and a boundary line feature class. Each parcel type has its own polygon and line feature class created and it also creates the relationship class between those new feature classes to the record and adds them to the topology. So let's see how that looks. Here we can see the parcels and the parcel lines. Now if this was too complicated or you wanted to automate this process, are you still with me? Good. Because if you are, here's another tip. Every time you run a geoprocessing tools in Pro, you can open the history tab. You can get to it by going to the analysis and the history and everything you've done is documented here. So if you now wanted to rerun this, maybe you created a geoprocessing model. Well, how difficult would that be? Well, not so much. Just select those guys and say, add them to a model. And what it will do is add them to a model. So it also validates them. You can see the add parcel type here is grayed out because it already uses a parcel name that is does exist. So if I call that something else like tax, it would be called this way. And next time you need to do this demo, all you have to do is press the run button. Well, that's it. That's how it is easy it is. Next videos coming up will show how to extend the information model to meet your business needs. See you over and out.